All right, so one has extra tweak to this, right? Uh, this is looking great. You have um, you know, your app shell, the content in there. It doesn't scroll down infinitely. It's easy to, to manage all that. But the one annoying thing is that you see, look, you, anytime the nav bar disappears, you have quite a bit of empty space here. And it can, you know, it just, I wish I could have the nav bar and the nav bar push everything a bit to the right until it cannot go anymore. And then it start resizing, right? So let's take a look at that. So the first thing we need to do is to increase the size of the page. Right, so how much are we going to increase it by? Right now is uh, you know the, the, the content area is 960, uh, plus we have you know 240 for the navigation bar, and we want to keep you know 20 pixels from the navigation bar to the um, content, and I'll give 20 uh, pixels also on the right, so 1024. Uh, if I'm not saying this should copy, yeah. So now I need to increase the size of the page. We need to make this. 24. Let's stretch this out all the way to the end. And then this, we're going to move it all the way. So this is the group content. I'm going to move all the way to the end and then bump it up to 20, right? So if you look at it now, it's probably going to be attached to the right side. You know, it's kind of, they got some of the same, same idea there, but you see like on the left side, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't resize properly. All right. The secret sauce here is, let me hide this guy, we're going to create a little thing that we're going to, let's call it the, the bumper group, All right? So we're going to put a, a group here, let's call it bumper, um, and then what we want to do is to attach, like, put this one close to that, and we're going to add some conditions to it, right? So we want it fixed with and we want to hide it, right? But if you do it here, like for instance, if I say uh, with um, current page with it's less than, <coughs> let's see, what do we need to be less than 1024? Um, one, two, four, zero, right? We want to uh, hide it. And even if you say here collapse when hidden and all that good stuff. So this is not going to work. Even though it's hidden there on the side, it's still not going to work, right? Because there's a, a, a bit of a quirk here on the uh, this version, at least of the, um, of the engine of Bubble, that this part it will you know hide but the width of it won't hide right so we need to go into the um, uh, the responsive panel uh, let's find the bumper group here and then what we're going to do is add a hiding rule so if it's less than 20 what was it 40 um, we hide it right and then right there you see what's what's going to happen here right so this, it will stay attached there to the left. Uh, there is a bit of a difference between when that hides and when the nav bar hides. So that you have a little bit more space before that grows. Okay, let's fix this up here. Because this is looking awkward. Yeah, right there, 12, 40, our nav bar is hiding. No, that's not it. F bar. So I need to change this by 200. Right. So now it's looking a little bit better. There's still a little bit of awkwardness here. Let's see what we can do better. Maybe what we can do is. So it's still not fantastic here. Let's see what we can do to improve on this. First, let's take this bumper group and actually we're not gonna make it fix width. We're gonna make it uh, shrink and resize. Let's see what happens. But it won't go past 100%, so it should not grow past that. And here it does that. Okay, but I still have some white space here. 
So it looks uh, it looks a bit awkward when it gets to here, right? And I think what we can do here is we go to the content, and we're now limited at uh, 120. I'm gonna make it go to 125, and we're also gonna look at the and the group content here, and I want to pin it to the left. Okay, so now whenever it grows, it will grow from the left side to the right. Yeah, right there. So this is now looking really good. You have this nice little stretching out. There you go. And this should extend everywhere, right? Because we're having the, the group content there is um, is controlling the the way the, the page spreads. So you have um, kind of everything from here. And I might have some still, yeah, I, <coughs> There's a little bit of more tweaking here when page is loaded. Yeah, in this part here. I think this is the right height. So that if I go to a different one, let's see if I go this, if I go back to dashboard. Yeah, and if it's like that. 1244, somewhere around here. Let's see if it, yeah, so everything is looking good. All right, so that's um, making your app shell switch or kind of shift to the left.